This video is only targeted for FPS. I'm not gonna talk about the trivial stuff. So obviously you gotta have the screen mod to be full screen. I use borderless because I've managed a lot of stream stuff and lower the texture quality low or medium if you're using high. And shadow quality doesn't do really anything. So lower it. And object LOD quality is better if it's lower. Yeah, level of detail. It means that it will render the items from far away from you with the level of detail. Overall visibility, 1000 is good enough. 1000 is good enough to snipe the guy from 200 meters away so you don't have to worry about it. I recommend you guys if you're having a FPS problems, do turn on DLSS or FSR. Anisotrophic filtering, I recommend you do with a per texture. Turning on the MIP streaming means changing this number according to the occasion you're having. So I don't think you have to turn on MIP streaming. I heard MIP streaming causes like black screen for like 10 minutes. I turned it off and I have less black screen on loading screens, which is I think is way better. And if you want to push to the limit, lower your screen resolution. I literally saw a dude playing with like 720p on laptop, on labs and factory and it was pretty smooth even though it looked like a Call of Duty the series number one. And post effects, a lot of people were asking about my post effects so you guys can try it out. But post effects barely does like an effect to the FPS. Maybe it costs like one, two, three FPS. So if you want to maximize it out, just turn it off. And the sound, binaural audio seems to still affect your game FPS. So please turn that thing off. For the game settings, I use the physical only core and the automatic RAM cleaner. There are some people who saying that it's better to just turn them off or turn alternatively on. It's occasional, so you gotta try it out by yourself. That's it for the game settings. We gotta move on to the actual PC setup. Oh yeah, and don't forget, use your launcher to optimize your game, which you have to go to right top corner and then check out the logs. The logs are used for bug reports or just random logs. I just delete everything usually. If you have, if you don't have anything you want to actually report, do the integrity check. It will take you about like five minutes and clear your cache all the time. It helps you out a lot with your bug task or actually improves game performance because sometimes the logs are super big with those invisible players or bug out items. And doing the integrity check gathers up your gaming files again and lets you play the game with the best performance. So always do that for your best game performance. Okay, I'm gonna talk about this one first because this is the most important thing and most effective way to increase your performance while not changing your hardwares or anything else. It's tweaking your RAM, overclocking your RAM. It's called XMP Profile, which is for Intel motherboards and DOCP or AMD motherboards. For instance, I have 36 gigabyte of RAM with 3600 megahertz to max capacity. However, if you don't turn on XMP Profile, your speed will be limited to below 3000 megahertz. This will greatly impact your performance in your game, especially Streets of Tarkov, because this game is really heavily dependent on CPU VRAM, the actual RAM, its size and its speed. Tons of people from my viewers have succeeded in increasing the speed and the performance of the game, especially on streets, by just turning on this XMP profile because they just didn't know. It's locked behind your BIOS. You might want to check out how to do it, YouTube videos or Google search how to get enter the BIOS. Usually how to enter it is by clicking the delete button or F11 while turning on the PC and then go there and go to the BIOS setups. Check out XMP profile, turn it on or DOCP. However, you might want to search it by yourself because there are so many motherboards and so many situations. For instance, for me, I have two sets of 16 gigabyte RAM with 3600 megahertz, which is identical. Two different models will not let you do it. Or the motherboard, which is too old to have XMP profile, will not let you do it. Next up is the NVIDIA control panel that people have been asking about. I use the global settings on my Escape from Tarkov, which is working out perfectly fine. You guys can just copy and paste what I'm doing. Most important thing that I learned is the image scaling. So if you go to the program settings as Escape from Tarkov and they choose image scaling to be on. So previously I told you guys to, if you want to maximize your graphic settings, performance focused, 
you can lower your resolution. Lower your resolution to whatever the ratio of the screen you're using. For example, I have 16 out of 9 resolution and I can choose 720p, but it will show like this. But if you use image scaling, it will scale the image up for you to play the game even though you're using 720p. So you're taking the advantage of lower resolution, higher performance, but the NVIDIA will compensate graphic by utilizing the image scaling. As you can see on the description actually, this feature enables GPU scaling and sharpening for your application. Typical uses of scenarios, turn image scaling on to boost frame rates of your application. This is recommended for the low end GPUs. It's not really recommended for everyone, but it's really recommended for the guys who has a low end PC, low end GPU. Next one is Project Lasso, a real time CPU optimization and automation. This is really helpful because the game is really CPU heavily based. I will put the link in the description where you could get this software. If you turn on the program, it will tell you to wait for like a couple of seconds if you have installed this software for too long. You need to have the game turned on to find it and then check out the CPU priority, go to the always because you don't want to you don't want to turn this thing on again and set up everything again. Check out high. Real time if you select it, it sometimes crashes a lot of programs. So high is the most recommended and CPU affinity disable the hyper threading or in case of Intel, I'm pretty sure you have to do SMT. Oh wait, is it AMD? AMD for the SMT. And also set up IO, I slash O input out priority to always high. All right, so the next one is intelligent standby list cleaner, which you can use by downloading it. It's, I'll put it another link in the description. It just helps you with the memory leak that Tarkov has. It has a very big inherent memory leak. It keeps on making your game slower after the raid and after the raid. You can use it by just using purge standby list or you can let the ISLC minimize and auto start on the size that you want. Do the job for you. As you can see here, standby list will be purged when these two conditions are fulfilled. The list size is at least 200 megabytes and free memory is lower than 1024 megabytes. And if you start that, it will keep doing this job for you whenever you want to purge the memory leaks. And if you do window toggle key and R, you will get the run console on. If you do SYSDM.CPL, you're gonna go to the advanced tab and go to your settings and then do the advanced tab. So this virtual memory will let you use your hard drive to become a RAM. Go to the custom size. So I'm pretty sure minimum size doesn't really matter. I'll go with 1034. For maximum, just go for 100K. And you're all set to go. All right, so that was all for the FPS boost I could tell you. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any more thoughts, do please comment on the video. And also, hit that like button if it helped or it boosted your FPS a little. I'm pretty sure if you did the game settings, it would have already helped you. Because a lot of people doesn't know about the texture quality or the, just the minimal things. And I, it seems like the image rescaling will help with the low-end PCs a lot and the XMP profile also. If you guys want to check me out on Twitch stream, check out twitch.tv barebasgav. If you want to support me more, check out the Patreon. Join the membership in YouTube. Super thanks and I'll see you in the next video.